We are now at the fun stages. By the end of this week, we'll be able to probably see that finish. They're these gold cups. And basically we're trying to do this on a budget because all of our money is in the ground. I'll give you a little bit of a teaser of what's going on in here. And then we've kept that pitch roof. It's all really coming together. But this is literally my pride and joy. This is all I've ever wanted. I'm obsessed. <gasps> they just look stunning. So we've gone for fluted behind the his and hers sink. Paneling ready to be painted. But the floor, the kitchen has started to be painted. We had a bit of a hiccup. It's probably the most updates you have seen in a vlog to date. Hello my loves and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Steph if you are new around here and if you've been here before then welcome back. This may be the first renovation vlog that you are watching and if that is the case there are a few more on my channel if you want to go and catch up with those first. However let me just do a quick fire recap of where we are. So we bought a house in 2021. We lived in it for a year and then we started the build last February. We were quoted for it to be a six month job and due to delays with the foundations and unforeseen circumstances within the ground makeup of our back garden we have been delayed and the six month job is now moving towards a 14 month job. So we have had to cut back on lots of things make lots of changes to be able to still work to the same budget that we had a year ago however the six month worth delay has meant that we also had a chance to save up a little bit more to still bring our dream home to life so we are now at the fun stages there is still stress there are still decisions to be made but in terms of structural stress that could potentially have a building crumbling down we no longer have that <laughs> so in this vlog it's probably the most updates you have seen in a vlog to date and it's very exciting so in this vlog you will see our kitchen pretty much finished our quartz delivered fitted and the room painted so you will get a feel for that space in there. Our painting has officially started and you will see the colour schemes that we are going for. Our downstairs bathroom is almost done, our utility room is almost done, panelling has started upstairs, our wardrobes have been fitted and also our home office has been fitted as well so it's all systems go. We are on the countdown and on the final stretch of work. It's very exciting, it's all systems go, there's always at least seven tradesmen on site at any given moment. Our master bathroom is also so, so close to being complete and it is very surreal in there. So we're going to jump back because I'm filming this after all of that fun stuff has happened. So we're going to go back to kind of February time when I started this vlog and update you on some of the fixtures and fittings. We're on the countdown now to moving in, which is super exciting. So I really hope you enjoy this vlog. If you are here for the home content and you can't wait to watch it all and catch up with it all, we do have an Instagram page called Inside the Snug. I've also said since we got the keys to the house that we are never going to do like a full house tour or anything like that. But we are open to showing you little pockets and little rooms and moments and little corners of our our house to show you things like brands and paint and all of the things that we had no idea about before we started this project so hopefully you can learn from our mistakes and not make the same so I hope you enjoy this video my loves please excuse the state of me I've got a roller in my hair but we do have a little update so we ordered our kitchen I want to say last November and we put it in storage and it's obviously been delivered and if you saw the last vlog you'd see that it started to be fitted which is very exciting and it's all coming together however we got to the stage where we needed to add the handles to all of the cabinets and for for the life of us we could not find high quality handles that go with both our tap our butler sink our aesthetic we want to go for this kind of brushed gold across the board not antique brass but like brushed brass gold color a bit more yellow but not too yellow so the handles we originally ordered i think we got them back in september or october of last year i thought i was so ahead of the game and i'll hate them but they just look a little bit they look a little bit cheap i'll be honest in the office it'll be fine because only i'm enjoying that space but we want our kitchen to feel really nice premium high quality and we've managed to do that with the design and we want the handles to match so i actually spent hours on google and i found a brand called yester home yester home it's like a really lovely independent family-owned business that started in like 2017 so i want to shout about them because we love supporting small business so i say small they're not small they're doing very well and we love to see it they're these gold cups which is like the perfect color that we're after so they will go on all of the drawers on the dresser and the drawers under the island and then handles they're exactly the same color but just as a knob and even even just holding this in comparison to the ones i ordered in october they're weighty they feel more significant and just a bit more sturdy and premium so really happy with that held it up against the tap and it looks chef's kiss and it's just gonna look gorge so really chuffed with that i'm actually gonna take that over to the builders later today because um they're gonna start fitting all of those so you'll be able to see them in situ in this vlog as well i thought we'd be able to kind of save money on things like that with handles and stuff 
but seeing them in person and actually now going over to the property I'm thinking actually no we can't really scrimp out on things like that the next thing that I need to hunt down is we are looking for like nice aesthetic plug sockets and light switches that aren't a hundred pounds honestly I found some plug sockets and I was like yep they're the ones you scroll down to the price and I'm like why are you 97 pounds for literally one socket sorry what I allowed like 10 pound per socket which is just not going to happen unless we get like really cheap looking ones so we are on the hunt for some like brushed gold fixtures I think in the gym we're going to go all black because that's supposed to feel like a separate space but I will let you know if we find any that are going to be suitable because it's, it's a stress honestly all these little things that you just don't expect to spend a fortune on they all add up and obviously there's like hundreds of plug sockets around the house so we might have to do it in phases to be honest and just like the main areas that people will go in all the time we will have like nice sockets and switches and then just do it over time because it's honestly it's silly good morning how are we doing so i headed to the house this morning and all of the carpet has been stripped from the stairs and that green horrible carpet that we moved into <gasps> is now officially gone dead and buried then upstairs in the master ensuite the tiler is in and he is laying all of the main tiles around the bathroom by the end of this week we'll be able to probably see that finished or almost finished with the gold trim the brush brush trim and all of those beautiful features and then downstairs the floor tiles have start to be laid so they all arrived on Monday and they are in the process of positioning those at the moment and then I'm choosing actually the grouting colour on Friday so you can help me choose that on Friday afternoon and then I also had the person coming over from the marble company that is measuring for our quartz so I had a lot of decisions there to make in regards to where I need holes cut hob size and all of that so he took all of the measurements for that which means in the next seven to ten days we will hopefully have our surfaces and then I also met with a guy called Andy who is doing all of our panelling around the house the hallway upstairs and downstairs as well as also putting some boarding in the loft but other than that no real updates I think the exciting stuff is going to be able to be visible on Friday so I'll make sure that I take you with me when I go over on Friday to meet the team but being there today there was like eight people tiling upstairs and downstairs there was someone measuring for the surfaces someone measuring for the panelling like it was a busy building site and it was really exciting to see um so yeah I will show you more updates on Friday so there have been lots of updates in the kitchen so now all of the doors are pretty much in position and we've added handles so we can actually open. I don't know if this was in the vlog earlier, but this is literally my pride and joy. This is all I've ever wanted for a very, very long time. The handles look gorgeous against both the cream. The butler's sink is in place, but it's not yet fitted, which is fine. We've then got a gorgeous gold tap to go on here. And then we've got the handles of the green. Inside, you can see the wooden cutlery drawers, which are just perfect with a nice little soft close. And then the most exciting part, I'll bring you this way, but the floor is in position. Um, we've chosen the colour for our grouting, which is getting sorted this week. And the tiles look absolutely beautiful against everywhere. And they're flowing through into the um, hallway, which is just perfect. So these are the floor tiles. We've gone for, they're kind of like beige grey, but more stony. And the grouting colour that we've gone for is stony rather than this kind of dark so that's going to go soon and then we've had the dresser built which is absolutely stunning and i'm absolutely buzzing about it okay so now we are in the master bathroom and our tiles have started to be laid on the walls so we've gone for fluted behind the his and hers sink and then we've gone for just like plain on the other walls and they look absolutely gorgeous and i'll show you the kind of trim the gold trim that we're going for around the things like the windowsill the niches and the cupboards and they are just divine so here we have the gold trim and here's a little bit more of um, a close up on the tiles. I don't know if it's doing it justice, but there's just this beautiful marble style effect going through the porcelain. We have some very exciting news. So today our understair storage is being fitted. Now the Ricky is a guy that I found on Instagram. His Instagram's at Simply Storage and I must have followed him before we even had the keys to the house. And I just thought one day this would just make my life simpler <laughs> to just have six drawers underneath the stairs rather than this stair rack that is impossible to get to the inside of the cupboard anyway i asked him for a quote like i said i want to say no he did have the keys when i asked for a quote and he came back and i was like amazing we're well, gonna make this work and so finally i think it's about a year and a half later he is coming over today to fit our stairs because we're finally in a position for that to be done and i'm really excited to go meet him over at the house in about five minutes i'm leaving in about five um and then i actually went over yesterday and so much progress has been made so i'm going to show you everything that's gone on like all systems go with the wc downstairs the floor tiles are done the bathroom upstairs is 
pretty much getting there and I'm very excited about it. And here we have the master bathroom. So nothing's been grouted yet, but this is the floor. And then we have the tiles. Again, they haven't been grouted, so imagine it with like a beautiful stone grouting. We've gone for the fluted tiles on the his and her sink wall. And then we've kept that pitch roof, which has really made all of the difference. And it just feels, it feels so much more spacious in here. And then we've got the gold um, trim around the window, the niche, and our little storage cupboard here as well. Oh my goodness, this is the first time we are seeing the understair storage. So this is the color that we're going for in the hallway, which looks a little bit green, but I think it's just the camera. But basically you just push these open. <gasps> they come all the way out. I'm obsessed. And we still have um, enough space for a full length cupboard here so that we can hang things like coats and stuff, as well as having um, ironing boards and everything in there. But oh my God, it's just perfect. This is where all of Lewis's muddy shoes can go. Loads of storage in there. It's just brilliant. Slam it shut. I am obsessed. It's absolutely gorgeous. And then in the downstairs WC, you can see, oh, I am obsessed with these tiles. So we're just going to go for tiling across here. They're going to stop at the end of this wall. And then imagine here, we're going to have a really nice black trimmed mirror we've got some black hanging lights no black wall lights that we've got from um john lewis actually and then we've got a really nice sink that's got kind of a marble top and then it's got like a really nice wooden base with a little black handle for to put a towel on then we've got a nice oops then we've got a nice black radiator to go on this wall paint the wall all a nice color and then i'll show you what you're currently rest resting on is where the toilet's gonna go it's got matching tiles on it look then the tiles here match the other side and then we're just gonna have some floating nice oak shelves with black brackets and it's just gonna feel really gorgeous in here and then we've got our plinths are starting to be attached on the dresser and also on the island here. So it's it's all really coming together. And then the last update in here is our patio has started to be built. And these patio tiles are the exact same color and style as our internal tiles. And they've managed to track the grouting from inside to outside. And so it's gonna feel like when, the door, when these doors are open, it's gonna feel like an indoor outdoor space, which is gorgeous. I'm at the house and there are so many updates. I actually cannot cope. I'm currently stood in what will be my future office, which has been painted. And the team from Hammonds have started the build of this today, and then they're gonna come back tomorrow to finish it. I'll give you a little bit of a teaser of what's going on in here. So the new desk is gonna be facing the window, which is gonna be nice and bright on whilst I'm working away in here. The color of this unit is going to be this lovely like blue kind of color. And there's going to be some shelving, open shelving all along here, as well as cupboards along here, where the cupboards join in the corner. There's a gap for my little legs in my office chair. And then there'll be a cupboard for my printer here with white work tops. And then, like I said, the shelving here. Updates in the hallway. We now officially have paneling ready to be painted and our radiators have been replaced with these lovely off black ones. And another decision we have made is to paint the internal doors black. So in the hallway, all the doors are gonna be black and they look so smart. I am so excited. In the master bathroom, it is currently carnage because so many deliveries have just been plonked in here for storage at the moment. But a little teaser of our shower furniture, which matches the gold trim in the niche just perfectly. And our toilet has also been put into position as well. And then the major updates in here is the kitchen has started to be painted and it looks so much bigger and brighter and we have had the quartz laid. So at the moment, the island is covered up to protect it whilst the painters are in. But this is a little sneak peek of how it looks by the sink with the splashback. So we had some quartz put in here as well. We just thought it would be more durable because our coffee machine and our kettle, etc., is gonna go in here. Um, it'll be more durable than the oak wood. So we've put a layer of that in, but it just means that our pantry cupboards need to come up a little bit so that the door closes, but that's gonna get sorted next week. But the whole space is just feeling so open and so bright and even our skylights with the white painting just look, oh, they just look stunning.
stunning. We had a bit of a hiccup. Hammond sent the wrong order to our house on Wednesday last week, and then it was supposed to be the build Thursday, Friday. And this lovely carpenter, Daniel, was booked for the job Thursday, Friday. However, he got there on Thursday and realized that all of this stuff was the wrong color, the wrong shape, the wrong, he just, it was all the wrong materials. So he couldn't build what we needed and everything had to be changed over. But Daniel was amazing. He came on the Friday then and then started building everything, all the carcasses, and then came and did a half day Saturday and a half day Sunday. Such a kind man that really made it work for us. And I went over yesterday evening to see it and it's a dream. So before, when you walked into the office, on the left-hand side, there was quite a big bulky cabinet that was um, open shelving, which was lovely. And that was actually inspiration for what we wanted in the new space. There was a massive desk to the right-hand side and it was just really, really, really deep to the point where there wasn't actually that much storage in it. And the, the desk was just so big. It was the only place that you could put things and it just always looked messy. So instead, what we've done is we faced the desk to the, towards the window so I don't get seasonal depression, nice natural daylight as I'm working. And then we've put shelving to the right-hand side it's not nearly as deep into the room so it means that there's loads of space when you walk in and the whole room just feels bigger which is really exciting and then today the wardrobes are starting to be built for the bedroom guys I can't cope so yesterday I went over to see the wardrobes which are looking great the painting is looking insane across the whole house and it is all coming together I'm really glad that we went painting the doors black but the architraves the same color as the walls because it's just made the doors look longer and taller which made, has made our ceilings look higher. I can't explain it. I'll show you some videos when I go over there later. I was with the decorators yesterday and they were asking what colour we want to paint the inside of the front door, whether we want it to keep with the same as the walls, which is this skimming stone by Farrow and Ball, or if we want to colour match it to the doors, which is off black. And then I was like, what would you recommend? And then they all kind of looked at each other and smiled. And I was like, what? And they were like, why don't you have a pop of personality on the inside of the front door? And I was like, what do you mean? And they were like, you know, like pink or something that is a little bit more you. And I was like, mm, I'm going to have to like pitch that idea to Lewis because obviously we're living here together I don't know if he'll want a pink front door and they were like well he's got the gym I was like that's so true he gets the gym so I have basically messaged the contact that we used at Farrow and Ball before who came to do the colour match service if you saw the last vlog you'll see that she walked around the whole house she had a file of facts of paint and then she basically helped us choose all of the colours for the walls it was brilliant it was like 100 200 pounds for the service and it just saves so much time and effort and you actually get discount off the paint when you order from them and so I just messaged her and I was like hi queen here's what we'd like to do what would you recommend pairing with our current wall colour that she loved the idea first of all she came in with this colour which this video is not going to do it justice but it's like a soft creamy pink that's not too she also said this one which is a little bit um it's a bit too bright i think and this one's a little bit too orange so i think we're going to go with the calamine from pharaoh and ball she sent over some samples so we got these little cardboard cutouts of the exact paint color so now all of the hallway is painted i can go over and hold it up against the space and just make sure that it's going to look good with the kind of door furniture we're going with as well as the wall color and just really get a feel for what it will be like i will um update you on the color that we choose and um show you any other update this morning i went over to the house and i'll be honest i know i've spoken about oh sorry big yawn Ooh. I've always got this at my desk these days. Constantly checking measurements. Anyway, went over to the house this morning and went to go look at the Hammonds. Went to go meet our Hammonds fitter. But by the time I got there, he was supposed to start at 9am. He'd already left. So that was annoying. Basically, I've spoken about Hammonds who are doing our office space and our wardrobes. And I am a fully paying customer. Well, I got a discount in the sale. It wasn't like a PR discount or anything. And I do want to just be a little bit open about my experience because I'm not saying them. They look amazing, but there's been a few issues with the instalment. So for example, our office area, the worktop wasn't fitted properly and the join where the two pieces meet in the corner is a bit faulty. There's chips on the work surface. So I've actually requested the fitter to come back and replace it because I'm just not happy with the finish. And they are quite expensive. Like we got a really good deal on them, but it is an expensive piece of furniture and I don't want to move in with there already being imperfections. Do you know what I mean? Then we had another fitter come to do our wardrobe space and I'll be honest, he's just not been very cooperative in terms of what we've requested. We've escalated things with Hammonds to get someone back to kind of resolve the issues. Like our bedside tables were made incorrectly. Some of the panels aren't straight and the doors aren't evenly spaced. The quality is brilliant. I just think um, the installation has been a bit rushed. Spoken to Hammonds customer service. They've taken our feedback on board. They've been really great and I'll be interested to see how it played out. But I wouldn't feel comfortable being like, definitely go with Hammonds knowing that we've had a few issues along the way. Up until now, amazing. A little bit clunky and there's going to be a resolution, but I can't promote a smooth sailing experience if I haven't had one. Yeah. 
just something to bear in mind if you are considering going with Hammonds. It's just my experience and I'm sure other people have had seamless experiences from start to finish. And then lastly, our living room has kind of been used as storage for the last year <laughs> and we haven't been able to access that space. Now a friend of mine is coming to collect some furniture that we're giving to her next week so then we can start building out the wall, kind of the media wall. The, the, the vibe that we're going for is this kind of aesthetic. So it's going to have cabinets either side and then a fake chimney breast and an electric fireplace in the middle. Our ceiling is not that high, <laughs> just FYI, so it's not going to look as grand as this. It's going to be like, probably more like that, I assume. And basically we're trying to do this on a budget because all of our money is in the ground. To facilitate that, I'm thinking about getting the cabinetry and the shelving from Ikea rather than getting it made bespoke. So I'm on the Ikea website at the moment looking at the Besta range, which is like just standard units that look really great. So I've typed in the size of our living room and I'm just plotting the cupboards and they're going to look great and I think they'll look really effective and get the aesthetic that we want but on a budget. So it's like £300 for these units and shelves rather than getting it made bespoke which probably would have been five times the price. So we're going to build a bit of a stud wall, put these cupboards in with shelves across the sides and stuff and I think it's going to look really effective. I'll show you what we're doing. So this is just the... Um, this is just the best arranged from Ikea in the soft oak or something. I can't remember what the colour is. White stained oak effect. And then these would be doors that would open up and then there would be shelving on the inside, but then you shut then you shut the doors and it will look quite symmetrical. Build the chimney breast out, fireplace in the middle there, and then shelves here, 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 here. Nice light, nice light TV on the wall here. And then that will be our kind of fake media wall if you will and then the coffee table that we've got is very similar finish to this wood and I think that would look really effective. Hello so we're currently at the house and as you can see it's literally a junkyard behind us so this is the living room that has literally been a storage unit up until this point. We're sorting it all because my friend Louise is coming to collect some bits as well as the painters really need to get in here to start prepping and painting the room. So we are coming in here today to clear it all out so that everything can be moved into the middle. We can sort out what's going to charity, what's staying, what's going on the skip, what's giving to Louise and basically just get a little bit more organized so things can get going in here. Just so that we can move in and have a lovely life in this little house. They're mine, do you like them? Yeah, you should wear these more often. I know, I really should, they're really nice. Finding things that we didn't even know we had. These are um, branded for the London Marathon. Yeah, they're cool. They're really cool, aren't they? You should keep them. I'm gonna keep them. That, that, that bag isn't to go. Oh, yeah. Well, I can hold that. So let's go. So we've just finished everything in that room so it's easy access for when Louise comes to collect everything next week and then we have sorted out everything else that needs to either go on the skip to charity or we're taking back with us um, and now we're going to stop for a little cake break. So this is a little cake that I got at, the Hendu, at a Hendu yesterday and it's a Victoria sponge by Plant Kitchen and it's absolutely delicious. So we're going to go sit in the sun of our new garden, have a little bite to eat and then um get cracking on the rooms upstairs. Hello, so we are at the house. It is a, it's a Friday and I'm gonna give you a tour of some of the updates that we've had. So there are kind of bedroom wardrobes, the panelling has been done in the hallway and the media wall in the living room has started to be built out. So I'm gonna give you a quick fire run around of how everything is looking and I cannot believe it's the same house. So I feel like you've seen the kitchen a million times, but this is all coming together nicely. He is very happy about it. It has all been painted in and the color, the kind of off-white color that we've gone for is called Wimborne White by Farrow and Ball. And it just goes beautifully with the green cabinets. The utility room is very dark because it hasn't been, it hasn't had lights put in yet, but it's all been plastered. Everything has been fitted. That is just waiting to be painted. Also again, very dark, but the gym has been plastered and is ready to be decorated now. In the WC, this has now been plastered. So we've had the tiles laid for a few weeks now. Oh, that fan is a bit loud, sorry. Um, these tiles have gone in, the um, skirting boards have gone in, and then this will just be painted at some point in the next few weeks. And then the panelling in the hallway, I'm just obsessed with. He has done such an amazing job, and this is just roughly painted in at the moment, so this is not like a finished paint colour, but it just looks gorgeous matches the floor tiles just perfectly and it has just changed the whole hallway with how it goes up the stairs as well it just looks it just looks amazing and then this is the paneling from upstairs and then here is the paneling on the landing as well that looks gorgeous and then the biggest change in the master are our wardrobes which i'll give you a tour of in a minute so we have some nice open shelving here which is going to be used for like just some nice bits and bobs, maybe like picture frames and kind of trinkets. 
on display in the bedroom. Here we have a double wardrobe. This is um, our current bedside tables, but we're not happy with them. So they're currently being resolved. That's an issue that's being resolved at the moment. And here we have another double wardrobe, but this has drawers, which are really lovely. So you open these and they've got a nice soft clothes and they've been built really beautifully. And that is just storage goals. And then we have a long hanging and we have another short hanging, uh, kind of like double hanging wardrobe as well. So very, very, very lovely. And then the office I am absolutely in love with, but when you look closely, there's just a lot of imperfection. So here, for example, it's chipped. It's coming away here. The worktop join here is um, not great. And there's like chips across the worktop here. Um, and also the coving has been made up and it's just it's just a bit messy um, so someone is coming to resolve this because we're not super super happy with the finish and the last update is just that the media wall in the living room has started to be built and hopefully in the next vlog we will have more updates on this for you i've also sketched out how i want or how i envisage our garden to be um wait though no, this one um with like a seating area a grill some raised beds some nice trees some nice fencing with lighting and just kind of best use the space of our quite small garden, but really excited to see this come to life soon as well. So all in all, there has been lots of updates and I think in the next vlog, pretty much everything is gonna be finished. So thank you so much for watching. If you do wanna see more regular updates, then come follow us on Inside the Snuggle Instagram and we will be back with another renovation vlog very, very soon. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you again in a couple of weeks. Lots of love, bye.